Hey everybody, it's me. I am going to vent. I'm at Chick-fil-A. I just had some lunch. I came back from the hospital. I had my lab work done and it was fasting lab work. And um, so naturally I'm hungry. It's a little after 11 and it's very busy around here. <clears throat> I'm gonna kind of vent or rant. And um, I had done a video probably about two hours ago. I'm looking around. Sorry, I'm in the parking lot. I'm, I'm sure there's people watching me talk to a phone in the parking lot. Anyways, so I go and I get my blood work done. And before I went in to do the blood work, I did a short video asking for prayer and good thoughts for another um, YouTube woman who got in a really bad car accident and broke everything from like the waist up. Anyways, and I was asking for prayer. So, I, <clears throat> excuse me, went into the lab and I checked in at 11 minutes past nine. Wrote my name on the, the waiting list. It says time and it was 11 minutes past nine that I wrote down and I did. And there was about four or five people before me. And then um, about 20 minutes later, another woman came in and she signed in. And I'm not sure what paper she signed in on, but about an hour went by and there was one worker, one lab assistant. And I'm just sitting there watching people come in and, and sign the paper, watch people slowly go in to get their blood drawn. So this one woman that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this one woman that I'm talking about that, that signed in about 20 minutes after me, she starts complaining about what's taken so long. She has things to do. This is her only day off. Da, 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 da. So I spoke up and I said, um, you know, it's health care. This woman's working by herself. I said, I work in health care and you know, things are slow today in in this field. And she said, oh, I know, I've been a CNA for, for 25 years. I know how that goes. And I said, well then, we need to be patient. This lady's working by herself. So a couple more people went, you know, it was their turn to get their blood drawn. And then, like I said, this woman came in about 20 minutes after me. So I'm sitting there waiting for my name to be called and all of a sudden this girl's name is called. And I got up and I went to the, the window and I said, I said, I'm sorry. She came in 20 minutes after me and I've been waiting for almost an hour now. And then the lab assistant said, well, I'm working off this paper and her name's on this paper. And I said, okay, but I'm just telling you that she came in after me. I don't know what paper, you know, how she says, well, your name's on this paper. I said, okay, okay. And I smiled. So then that girl was brought in to get her, her labs done and she left. And then the lab assistant opened the door and she said, Robin, it's your turn. And then just like that. And so then another person that was waiting to have their blood done said, yay. And I walked up to the window and the lab lady said, I'm all by myself, you know. And I said, I get that. I said, however, this woman signed in 20 minutes at least after me. And she says, well, how did her name get on this, the paper before yours? I said, I don't know. I said, but maybe you can look at the time that she signed in versus this time that I signed in on this paper. I'm thinking the lady flipped the paper over because I was on a new page. I'm thinking she flipped the paper over and um, wrote her name, you know, kind of skipped line. Shame on her. 
So I said to the lab assistant, as I'm, you know, given my lab slip and stuff, I said, I was actually sticking up for you when that woman was complaining about how long she had to wait. And I did tell her that this is healthcare these days. And I said, so I was sticking up for you. And um, then I said, thank you for coming in today to draw our blood. So then she said, okay, you can go around back and have a seat. Out back, I'll be there in a moment. Excuse me. So I went and I had a seat. And I said to myself, just chill, Robin. Just, just be cool because, you know, this lady's going to jab you in the arm with a needle. We want to be nice. So she came back a few minutes later to do my blood. And, um, you know, she was like, oh, um... I haven't had a Saturday this busy, you know, in a long time. And I said, yeah, I, I get it. There's, you know, there's a lot of people. And so she asked me, she must have looked at my file. And she said, so what do you do for work over at the name of the facility that um, I work at? I'm not going to say it on, on YouTube. And I told her I was the activity director. And she said, oh, that's a really fun job. And I said, yeah. And I said, I recognize you um, as being, you know, a lab person, lab assistant, um, coming over and taking blood at our facility. And she went on saying, yeah, because of COVID, you know, only certain people over there now getting hot. And I said, yeah. And I didn't say anything about the, the woman that skipped line ahead of me. I was like, just let it go. Let it go. This She's being, this lab assistant's being nice to you now. Where... You know, that was totally uncalled for coming out. Robin, it's your turn now. And I think maybe she knew that. And something is telling me that maybe she reviewed the sheets after I went in and looked at what time this other person snuck ahead of me after she had signed in after me. But my point is, when did we get so rude? When did we just become such a rude society? You know, here I am, do this video asking for prayer for, um, you know, another YouTuber. And 10 minutes later, I experienced, like, just the worst situation in my life. Not in my life, sorry. Just a, a rude situation. But people are just rude. And I understand not everybody is going to be sunshine and rainbows and all that good stuff. But don't you agree? We live in a very rude, rude world. So that's my little story. I'm at Chick-fil-A. I just had a sandwich and some waffle fries. I'm starving. That's my little story. I'm going to go over to Walmart now. And I'm sure everyone there is going to be pleasant, right? So what I can offer myself and anyone else that is experiencing any rudeness is... We will think good thoughts for those rude people. You know, the woman that snuck ahead of me that was complaining about her service and I was sticking up for the attendant, you know, she's the rude one. I was the patient one. So we'll just think good thoughts for that rude person and hopefully, you know, her day can get better. So anyways, thank you for watching. I'll probably do another update later. Maybe we'll get three videos in one day from me, right? And anyways, we're all in this together. The world is short-staffed. Appreciate and be kind to the ones and appreciate the ones that actually did show up. Have a good day. Talk to you later.